Hey, what's up YouTube? I just wanted to show you uh, my airbrush, which I just got from spraygunner.com. After doing a lot of uh, research to figure out what I wanted to get, I got this 0 0.2 millimeter uh, Mr. Hobby airbrush. I was pretty torn on whether to get the 0 0.3 millimeter or the 0 0.2 millimeter. Um, but I decided on the 0 0.2 since I can't see myself buying the 0 0.18 model anytime soon and this is pretty close. And then if I need to do bigger spraying, I'll get a 0 0.4 single action airbrush uh, from Mr. Hobby. Um, so yeah, this is my first airbrush. I don't even have my compressor yet. It's still on its way. Um, but uh, I'm pretty excited about this. So a lot of the packaging um, is all written in Japanese with like a small amount written in English. And I really want to be able to read this. So what I'm going to use is the Google Translate app on my phone once I'm done recording this video. Um, and uh, it has a feature in the app where you can point your phone's camera at the Japanese text and it's like it's photoshopping over top of live video and it will show you English uh, translations um, for all this Japanese text. So I'll be able to get a, an idea of what they're trying to say. So I'm trying to give you a good look at all the documentation here. They have um, some pretty clear diagrams and explanations here, it seems like, for how to troubleshoot common problems, I guess. This guy looks a little frustrated. <laughs> um, and uh, it looks pretty straightforward. Um, let's moving on to the other one here. Smaller booklet, it seems. Uh, okay, so we have some nice detailed technical drawings on this one which show a cutaway view of what it looks like inside. Just flatten this here so it's not catching the light wrong. Try to let you have a good look at it. Um, so yeah, this uh, shows all the guts and the included accessory parts as well. And I, this looks like a, a, a checklist for maintenance, I guess. I'll read this all uh, a little more closely after I've translated it. And it looks like you can order some spare parts and stuff on the back there. This is uh, if you're using a canned air instead of a compressor. I already know that that's not an ideal way to do it, but I guess it would help in a pinch. Uh, oh, a lot of documentation. So I guess operation tips, how to how to use it. This will come in handy, I guess. Showing how to get different types of paint lines, wide and narrow. All right, moving on. Let's uh, have a look at the actual airbrush here. So it comes in this nice sturdy box here that's on a hinge that stops uh, before it opens fully it won't go any further than that um, everything's packed away all neatly got the little canned air adapter thingy that you put on top of uh, a can of compressed air and uh, turn the top to open or close it I guess I'm probably not gonna be using that ever but good to know it's there and then this wrench which is used for taking apart and putting together the airbrush. There's other tools you can buy that uh, will do that job, but uh, they give you that included. Little rubber safety cap to uh, protect the uh, needle at the end there. And it feels really nice. Um, I don't know how this compares with uh, other airbrushes because I don't have a ton of airbrushing experience and I haven't handled a lot of airbrushes, but Feels really nice and solid and well built. Uh, so this comes off and uh, I guess it's so you can use um, different size hose adapters 
This appears to be for, whoops, appears to be for a, oh, I'll leave that, uh, for a small hose and then um, without it for a big hose. So here is the pink cup. It's got a satin finish so that I guess it helps with reducing glare and reflections if you're trying to see what's in the cup, I guess. And then it's got uh, ridges on the outside, I guess, to uh, keep paint from dripping down. Um, there's a little air adjust thing underneath the pink cup. And uh, that is not the technical term for it, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> the trigger feels nice, but again, I have nothing to compare it to. Um, yeah. There's a hose included. Let's have a look at that. I gotta pull this foam out to get at it. So it's a plasticky, rubbery type hose and uh, very thin. Oh, it's uh, very springy. Springier than I expected. Whoop. Uh, so the ends are quite small. I guess it's too small to fit uh, on the airbrush without the adapter. So let's try putting the adapter on. It, oh, might help if I open the lid. Looking through the camera. <laughs> Okay, let's put this thing back together. And now we can attach the hose, I'm sure, now that this is on. There we go. Very springy. And uh, that's it. Um, it's got a good weight. I'm happy with it. 